everyone so I just want to quickly jump on to make a video before I go to work um, I think actually I'm gonna be a bit late but anyway so the reason I jump on is because I ordered um, some perfume which arrived yesterday so it's from Sarah and I ordered it the night before so it, around 6 p.m. 6 30 p.m. and it came the next day morning so that was really efficient I was, I was pretty impressed with it so I've unwrapped it already I bought four bottles but it came they came really well wrapped um, inside the box so uh, again it's not like I know like I've ordered from Ulta before and some other online retailers and the packaging when they come it's like all loose in a box and it's uh, prone to breakage and damage but here they've done a really good job packing it so the reason I bought these is because I've always liked um, perfume and I tend to wear different ones for different season and different occasions but um, and Joe Malone is a brand that I think a lot of us know because they're sold all over the world at most large department stores. But I've never bought a Jo Malone perfume because first of all, um, I find her perfume to be expensive. They're normally around oh no, 160 pounds, 1,600 Hong Kong dollars for 100 ml thereabout. Um, and also I find that her perfume, while it's nice and, and very refreshing, many of them, they don't last on me. So no, when I spray on my, on my body, um, the smell dissipates after around two hours. So I don't think it's well worth spending that amount of money um, on, on, on fragrance, quite frankly. But then I learned that, um, so Jo Malone actually sold her perfume business to Estee Lauder back in 1999. So a long time ago, she cashed out. Um, she did stay on for another seven years as consultant, um, working for the brand, but then she left after that. But I think she had a non-compete clause in a contract, in a sale contract, which meant that she couldn't open up her own shop for another five years. So that's why I think you find that, you know, it wasn't until like 2011, then she opened a, a shop in, in London and she called it Joe Loves. But it's a very small operation. I mean, you wouldn't find it, um, a Joe Love perfume anywhere else. I've certainly never seen it. And of course you can always order online. But she has a very curated, curated um, selection of perfumes, so it's not it's not large by any means. But anyway, um, the reason I, I looked into it is because just before Christmas, um, she had uh, Sarah had pushed out a series of perfumes uh, that they have collaborated with Jo Malone, and it's called Vibrant City. So a lot of YouTubers made videos um, on those perfumes, and it's all based on different cities, you know, like Seoul. Shanghai, New York, London, Madrid, and each one has a very distinct um, uh, smell profile. Um, and of course, they launched it just before Christmas, right, gift time. So I looked into that, and because Sarah's um, perfume tends to be very reasonably priced, so I, I wouldn't mind, whereas I wouldn't spend, you know, 1,600 on a, on a bottle of perfume, I would consider spending about $200 on one. So I looked into it, then I realized, I learned that actually Joe Malone had collaborated with Sarah previously and so in, on the Hong Kong Sara website there are actually quite a lot of the previous collab now on sale so then once I looked into that I looked into the, the, the different um, bottles of, of perfume and I found identified a couple that I really liked then I went to a Sara store in Hong Kong and actually sprayed them to decide which one I actually wanted to buy but anyway the long and short of it is that I bought two um, two of the previous Jo Malone collab with Sarah and so the first one is called Ebony Wood uh, and you can see right the packaging is very nice I think this must be a special kind of gift edition and as you can see at the back it was the original price is 229 Hong Kong dollars and it's now um, online for 139 and the smell profile of this one is obviously right um, uh, let me find it I did, I did jot it down so it's, oh yeah, so it's uh, wood, pink pepper, and cloves. And that really appealed to me. And I, when I sprayed it, actually, it's, it, I like the smell of that. It's very unisex, um, great for layering and also on its own as well. And the second Jo Malone collab is, um, I think it's from her Emotion series with Sarah. And this one is called Bergamo and Leather. And as you can see here, you know, I, tend, I don't tend to go for, for very flowery, type of perfume and the leather here really is kind of bring a, um, a 
depth to the perfume. So I really like this one as well. And this one, the original price is $299. And now it's also online for $139. But then once I start looking into all that, um, I realized that in fact there are other famous perfumier had collaborated with Sarah before. And one of them that um, I really like is called Natalie Lawson. And she had um, produced perfume, behind the perfume of like some of the perfume in, from Givenchy, Lancome. Uh, YSL, um, Giorgio Armani, uh, Dior, Versace. So she's very well known now, and I really do like some of her perfume. And so once I learned that, you know, she's she had also collaborated with Sarah, um, I saw this one online for discounted as well. It's called MSK 004. So MSK just stands for musk. And the original price for this one is 199, and now it's discounted for 79. So it's really good value. And and if you look at that, I actually had opened this one. The bottle is actually really nice. It's really it's a full size. I think it's about 100 ml. So for 79 Hong Kong dollars, this is this is a bargain. Um, and it, it, this will look nice on, on any dressing table as well. Right, it's a good glass bottle. And the perfume profile of this one is obviously sugared almond, which I wouldn't normally go for because I don't really like it very sweet. But it does have iris, musk, and patchouli, and I do like musk and patchouli. So I can't wait to try that one as well. And the last one is not by any famous um, perfumier, but this one is called Gardenia. And again, this one, original price 159, is discounted to 79. And the reason I bought this one is because there's lots of um, reference to this being a dupe for opium. And I remember back in the days, I did like opium for going out in the evenings. It's quite strong, but it's nice, you know, for you know, night out um, kind of perfume. So I can't wait to try this one as well. Um, so the last thing I do want to say is, all right, um, I would suggest, so these are not the only one discounted um, at the moment in Sarah Hong Kong website, on Sarah Hong Kong website. Uh, so before you buy any perfume, I would suggest that you go to a local store near you, if you can, and try them out for yourself, because there might be other ones that you like other than these. Uh, but then don't buy it there, because when I went to the Sarah store to try it, and I was thinking of buying it straight away there, the prices actually in store are not the discounted price. So I would suggest that, you know, once you identify the ones you like, then, then you know, order them online. Because they come really, really quickly. And it's, you know, it's not been opened or anything like that. You know, this, these are in the original packaging. Um, so, so I just wanted to share that because I thought these are really, really good, good, um, good value. Um, and it's a good way to try, try perfume by famous perfume makers. Natalie Lawson and Joe Malone without paying you know, thousands of dollars. So let me know in the comment if you do when if you know do decide to buy it, buy them, and let me know which one you buy and how you find them. Alright then, bye bye.